Cancer and cataracts are part of the political debate in Michigan's 5th Congressional District this year, where an incumbent congressman from the southeast corner of the state is being challenged by two residents of southwest Michigan. Republican Tim Wahlberg lives in Tipton. He's facing Democrat Libby Urban, who lives in the, in the Buchanan area, and Green Party candidate James Bronke from Cassopolis. Mark Peterson has the rest of the story. Long since uh, your cataracts were diagnosed. Well, that was that was eight years ago. Eight. Well, James Gronke is now 74 years old and running for Congress because he got better advice from his girlfriend than his doctor after being diagnosed with cataracts. And a girlfriend told me about some eye drops to put in my eyes. So I started putting them in my eyes. I didn't know it was going to work. But Gronke said it did. Finally, this year, after eight years, I asked my own eye doctor, how many people have you told about this? You know what her answer was? It's not FDA approved. If I'm elected, I'm going to create a new health organization called Research Solutions for Healthcare because our FDA is not doing that. As a union steel worker, Libby Urban fought like hell for her coworkers, winning higher pay, better health insurance, and job security. As Meantime, the Democratic candidate in the 5th District race is running a more traditional campaign. Libby Urban of Bertrand Township is running on her 31-year record as a retired union steel worker at IN Tech IN Co. Also as a record as a 15-year member of the union's executive board. I didn't like the way the company was treating women. We were only 10% of the uh, union workforce, and they weren't paying for our health care. They weren't paying for birth control, mammograms and pap smears, things, basic health care things that we needed. Urban says she has campaigned in nine of the 10 counties that make up the massive 5th district, enough to feel a connection with residents. I've stood in the shoes of the majority of the people in my district. I was, uh, grew up on a small farm. My grandfather was a farmer. Um, we lost the family, half the family farm when my grandfather died, and we lost the rest of it when my uncle died. So I, I can understand the plight of these small farmers. I understand it. When he's not wearing leather chaps and riding a Harley, incumbent Congressman Tim Wahlberg has more experience than any other member of the Michigan delegation. Well, I think they should expect very much the same. A guy who uh, has learned his way around Washington in order to represent his district better. It takes a little while. Um, you, you take some time to get on committees that, are, that make a difference. For example, Wahlberg's committee successfully blocked a bill he said would have mandated the use of electric cars. The standard is so restrictive. Then is that a mandate? When they push for the fact that by 2032, by 2050, um, uh, uh, three quarters or two thirds of the cars have to be EV, and then by 50, all of them being sold have to be EV, that's a mandate.